The lead pastor at St. James Church in Riviera Beach tells me Juneteenth becoming a federal holiday is a great moment, but says this is long overdue and there is still work to be done. I'm just appalled that it's taken this long to get here, but I'm not surprised. The newest federal holiday marks June 19th as the national day to commemorate the end of slavery in the U.S. For me, I think for many people of color, uh, that you've acknowledged something that was wrong. This is a, a great moment, but it's way overdue. And as large as it is, as monumental as it is, it's not enough. Pastor Tony Drayton says this moment in history should be used to educate those in the community in order to create a brighter future. We didn't get here overnight and it cannot be debunked overnight. So I'm, uh, I'm going to do all that I can and, and empower and encourage others to be anti-racist. Which is similar to the remarks Vice President Kamala Harris made during the Juneteenth bill signing. We must learn from our history and we must teach our children our history. The signing of the bill makes Juneteenth the first new federal holiday since Martin Luther King Jr. Day was signed into law in 1983. Something Pastor Drayton says shows how much work still needs to be done. It speaks volume to the lag that we in and trying to right uh, the injustices which has occurred in our country. Juneteenth of Palm Beach County Incorporated, a local organization, will host their first ever Juneteenth Festival this Saturday at the Riviera Beach Marina Village from 1 p.m. to 8, and it is free for the public.